Hey guys, and what is up? It's your girl Julia back with another video. Yeah, what's up? Uh, today we're doing another hashtag Ask Your Julia episode three. And if you're watching this November 28th, it is also my two years on YouTube. First question we got from Dark Julia. What positions do also wait, hold up. Dark Julia, you're so cool. And yeah, I can't wait to meet you. Okay. Anyway, what position do you play for softball? I'm a pitcher. I mean, I play outfield, but like, pitcher, you know? Kayani, oh, beautiful name, says, if you could have endless food or endless money, which one would you choose? Money, because then I could buy food with that money. Oh, Jillian, I think is your name? Uh, you said, if you, it, uh, if the whole world was watching you right now, what would you say to make the world a better place? Bro, I don't know why that just brings like instant tears to my face. Something I totally stand by and something that, you know, drives me to do things out of my comfort zone, I guess, is I always think, you know, you only live once. YOLO. No, literally though. You only live once. You're only gonna be this person once. You're only gonna ever be in this moment in your life once. So just make the best out of it. And, oh, no, 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 no. I know I would say, oh my God, this I've... You can handle anything in the moment. It's the fear of what might happen that undoes us. Literally every day-to-day -day living, we stress about things that are gonna happen in the future. We stress about different scenarios and how they could go this way and how that would, the like, the like what ifs. Live in the moment that's happening right then and there. Like, you can literally do anything. When you need to just take a look around you of what's happening right now and do what's right now. Because that's all you can do. The future is... We don't know. Also, you could die tomorrow. So literally live every day like it's your last. I know that sounds stupid, but like, live every day to the point where when you're going to sleep that night, you're like, if I were to die tomorrow, would I be satisfied? Rihanna says, do you think you would be the same person if the Dolan Twins didn't exist? I get a lot of questions concerning the Dolan Twins and, oh, would you choose softball over the Dolan Twins and like stuff like that. And I just want to like talk about it for a second. Yes, I used to be an insane fan. I would literally do anything for the Twins. I would probably shoot myself in the head to, to hold Grayson's hand. I'm not even kidding. I was insane. With anything you grow out of it and i'm not saying i'm literally not saying that i'm not in the dolan twins fandom because i 100 percent am it's just that i've been growing with them and i think all the stuff i have learned from the twins i'm using it in everyday life and it's not something that i just want to forget i think if i never were in the fandom in the first place i would be the same me just less happy less motivated and less of me Julia and friends which holy crap I love you um says have you ever pooped your pants yes I was like six <laughs> and then right under she says have you ever peed your pants from laughing yeah I have Riley asks how long is Grayson Dolan's pee pee I'm um, why don't you ask him? Gralia and Alithin ask, um, what's your favorite thing about yourself? P.S. Love you. I don't know why I didn't say I love you too, because I love you. Carry on, I, I love you. I think that question is a not very frequently asked question, but it's definitely an important question, and I want you to ask yourself this too. I definitely admire my optimism with everything. Uh, I'm honestly such a happy person. When it comes to these kind of questions also, never question if you're being selfish. You are not, you're not conceited. You need to have confidence and you need to be able to love yourself before you can conquer a lot of things in this world. So start now. <laughs> that sounded like an ad. Point is, love yourself. Because guess what? I love you, other people love you, so you should love you too. Oh my God, that was so ugly. What is your biggest life goal? Um, not really sure why I didn't say that I love you, but I love you, Izzy. Thanks for being my friend. And I know a lot of people say this, but honestly, I just want to inspire other people and make other people 
want to help other people and just everyone being this community of love and build each other up to make the world peaceful. Yeah. A lot of you guys are actually asking me about what I want to do in the future and like with my life and I tried to answer this question a few minutes ago and I kind of stressed out so we're gonna try again. My biggest like career goal is that's what you guys mean is Honestly, I want you to be like at a movie theater, you know, you're chilling out watching the movie and the end credits roll up and you see directed by Julia Jordan like that. I just I want to be a director like that is my goal that I want to be a big time director. You're, you're freaking seeing my names on the big screens. I just I think that filmmaking and making stories out of movies is like making stories out of. Yeah, that's OK. I said that right. Is just like one of the one of the coolest art forms. If I'm not a big time director, I definitely know I'm gonna study cinematography. And so, a cinematographer for sure. But yeah, a director is my, my top goal. Donica, Danica, Danica asks, what's your first kiss story? I never thought I'd have to tell this on the internet, but I guess I, I guess, I guess we're doing it. But we were watching a movie and I remember the movie ended and we were sitting there and I think we both were thinking about it because it was kind of hashtag awkward and I looked over do I say him or her because I like girls and boys I, I was looking over at them I'm I started like leaning in you know because I was like oh this this happened this this is what we do right we, we, you know we both were like leaning in like real slow like and then they just grabbed my face they like grabbed my face right turned it to the side and whispered in my ear you thought Hux says, by the way, I miss you. I love you, girl. I miss you. Um, says, what are your favorite songs recently? First song is by Kid Cudi. This is just an old song that I've like been reborn into and I just love it. It's called Maniac. <laughs> the Big Bang by Rock Ma Mafia. And Nikes by Frank Ocean. You Got Me by Omar Apollo. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. You guys asked so many good questions this year. And I'm sorry how late this video is. I will definitely try to do another one with at least six months, like, you know, maybe half the year. <laughs> but if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. You can also follow me on my social medias. They're also down below. And you can also subscribe down there. I think I already told you to do that, but you know, you know what's up. Um, God damn, why am I so cringy sometimes? And I'll see you, hopefully, in my next video. Peace. Ever since I left the city, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Yeah, and that hot fiery, fiery merch in the description. Boys. I'm so in love with.